Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you how to use um, a shortcut for implicit differentiation. Uh, this is the formula you're going to be using. dy over dx equals negative f of x over f of y. This shortcut gets rid of uh, having to distribute uh, or um, getting your y primes on one side and your your um, your other stuff on the other side. So um, it, get, it really cleans up the, the equation and it's short and sweet and it's very effective but the only problem is it only works for implicit differentiation but even at that it's still a very beautiful formula <laughs> well to me it is because it works so well but um, it works every time um, I'm going to show you a few examples and I hope you guys can um, understand this as well as I can I mean it's not hard to learn at all it's super easy I thought it was like the most difficult formula until one of my tutors showed me how to use it uh, I don't know the exact name of it but uh, let's get this thing started. This first formula um, came from a, um, a channel called uh, Patrick JMT. He's uh, he has all kinds of videos on you know ma uh, math tutor uh, math tutoring. He shows you how to do different um, calculus equations, and he's he's a real genius. So he makes things real easy. So if you're having trouble with calculus, and you ha if you haven't found his channel yet, um, I'll have his uh, channel in the, in the description. But uh, let's get this. Uh, formula started. So what you want to do first is you want to set your equation equal to zero. So you're going to have x squared plus xy plus cosine y minus 8 equals zero. Oops, I forgot my y. 8y equals zero. So what you want to do is, <clears throat> using the formula, I'm sorry I'm a little stuffy. Uh, my allergies kind of went crazy yesterday. I'm kind of still feeling it but so you take your negative f of x so anywhere really this is how the formula goes uh, for this one anywhere for the top anywhere there's an x you take the derivative of that x if there's a y you completely ignore it until you get to the bottom which is f of y so uh, well if you <laughs> I'm sorry if I explained that really weird but you'll understand when I when I show it to you right now um, so there's an x here, so I take the derivative of x squared, which is 2x. Uh, there's an x here, so I'm going to take the deriv derivative of xy, which is just uh, y. And then I'm going to take the derivative of cosine y. Oh no, um, I'm sorry. There's no x here, so you that's ignored. And um, negative 8y. There's no x there. And uh, zero is no x, so that's ignored. So you're done with the top part. <laughs> I'm very sorry for that mistake. Probably just made things more confusing for you. Um, so now you're doing the bottom part, which is the f of y part. So anywhere there's a y in your equation, you're gonna take the, 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 the blah, blah, blah. you're gonna take the derivative of that y. So there's no y here. There's a y here, so you're gonna take the the derivative of x y, which is just um, x. Uh, there's a y here at cosine y, so you take the derivative of cosine, which is a negative sine. And there's a y here, so you're going to take the derivative of negative 8y, which is just negative 8. And that, then you distribute your negative, and that's going to give you negative 2x minus y all over x minus sine minus 8. And there's your answer. As you can see, it, you know, I didn't have any y primes anywhere. I didn't have to move anything around besides the 8y. It was it's super effective and it works every time. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Sorry for the shaky camera work and it's kind of hard um, explaining something, writing and keeping the camera right on the equation at the same time. And I'm kind of sick. <laughs> so. You can use your formula again, or you know, you want to set your equation equal to zero. Two y minus x plus x y minus seven equals zero. All right. So now you can use your formula. So anywhere there's an x, you're going to take the derivative of that x. So there's no x here. There's an x here. So the derivative of negative x is negative one. 
there's an x here, so the deriv derivative of xy is y plus y. And the derivative of 7 is, of course, 0, and, but there's no x there, so that's ignored. And the 0 is ignored because there's no x. So you're done with the top. Now you're going to the bottom, which is your f of, f of y. So anywhere there's a y, you're going to take the derivative. So derivative of 2y is 2. Derivative of, oh, there's no y here. There's a y here, so you're going to take the derivative of xy, which is just x. So it's a plus x. And there's no y here, and there's no y here. So you're done with that part. And you're going to distribute your negative. And you're going to have 1 minus y over 2 plus x. There's your answer. As you can, you know, this I love this this shortcut because it's so it's short and sweet and it's not messy. It's very organized and it's simple. Um, I hope you guys have caught on, and it's as you can see very easy. Um, if you have any questions or anything, you go ahead and ask in the comment section. Um, let's get to this last one here. So you want to set everything equal to zero. So, I mean, not everything, I'm sorry, you want to set your equation equal to zero. So, you're going to have xy plus x plus y minus x squared y squared equals zero. Alright, so you're going to use your formula again. So, anywhere there's an x, you're going to take a derivative. So, there's an x here, so there's a... Um, Der derivative of xy is y. No y. No. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm doing. Y. I'm way ahead of myself. Sorry. There's an x here. So derivative of x is one. So plus one. No x here. You have an x here. So you're gonna take the derivative of x squared y squared, which is negative two x y squared. And there's no x here, so you're done for this part. Over. Now you're going to do your y's. So anywhere there's a y, you're going to take the derivative of that y. So der derivative of xy equals x. No y here. Derivative of y is 1, so plus 1. Uh, there's a y here, so you take the derivative of uh, x squared y squared, which is um, negative 2x squared y. And you're done with that part, so you want to distribute your negative again. And you get, I'm going to move the uh, 2xy to the front just to make it look cleaner. Um, so you're going to have positive 2xy squared minus y minus 1 all over. Oops. And I'm, gonna just, I'm just going to move this um, x to negative 2xy, x squared y to the front. Negative 2x squared y. And remember, you're not changing the signs on the bottom because it's only applied to the top. Negative 2xy squared, or so two, two squared, 2x squared y plus x plus 1. And there's your answer. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, it can't get any more simple than that. I really love this uh, formula. It's awesome. I love it, and I uh, hope you guys caught on as well as well as I did. Excuse me. I'm sorry. There's that formula again. Just remember, set your equation equal to zero. Take your derivative of x on the top for the equation, and then take the derivative of y on the bottom, and distribute your negative, and you're done. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. 
I hope this helps you guys and um, <laughs> rate comment I, I really want the ratings just to see how you know how I'm doing with my videos and stuff I mean you don't have to subscribe or anything that's your choice but um hope this helps you guys I'm, I'm sorry if I explained it really crappy uh, I'm not the best in the world at explaining but I tried my best to show you guys this simple formula right here so uh yeah, um, tell me what you think. Thanks. Bye.